We go? Yes. Right, uh, friends, uh, how you been with this uh, isolation? So I've been stuck at home myself, and uh, in view of things, I've decided to try and make light of the situation. So, uh, since now I'm home, I'm making light of the situation, I've taken this opportunity to work on my home light chainsaw. So, these are both going. Um, this one's in good nick. This, uh, I've run, I uh, tested that, I've cut with it uh, quite some time ago and I believe it to be okay. This one's an unknown quantity. But what I would like to sh show is a quick test on a crankshaft end float. Now, if the camera can zoom in on here. Well, you can hear it clunking. I'm guessing that's about, I don't know, if I had to guess, it would be seven to ten thousandths of uh, end float in the crank. All my home lights have got end float, um, which is, I don't know whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, but they've got the ball bearing on the crank and then they've got the Torrington and a thrust, so they've got a pretty good crank set up. So... And these two particular ones are very early style. If the camera can zoom in on this little aluminium, uh, what they call it, a stack muffler or stack exhaust. Um, it's basically straight out and very, very noisy. So, yeah, hearing protection is a must. So, um, both 16 inch bars. This has got a, a Windsor. Uh, speed tip on it or a replaceable uh, tip on it. This one here has just got the old uh, stalite or studite uh, hard hard rail on them. Uh, has the guide? Has the? That's not too bad. Has the? Oh, look, you know, you got to remember that these saws are bloody 45, 50 years old, so they're in um, good condition. And what I like. What I like to uh, try and achieve when I'm mucking around with bar, chain, sprocket combination is a nice free run, a uh, totally unencumbered because on a powerhouse of a mach machine such as this, if you're wasting power out of the power head trying to pull the chain around, that's less power you got to cut wood. So it's mandatory to have that a, a very nice free interface so everything's married together nicely now <clears throat> i've been at a like i say practicing my uh, isolation and uh, not doing much but uh, tell me what you would like to see in the next bull block video whether it be uh, tractor maintenance uh, more chainsaws um, something to do with a motorbike and a dirt bike or uh, maybe some TIG welding of magnesium because uh, these old home lights, everything here is magnesium and you know the old clutch cover can take a take a hit out of it there or get a hit out of it there. Um, I've, I've actually welded a side cover that's the clutch is machined a big hole in it. So um, yeah, magnesium, TIG welding of magnesium. Would you like to see some of that? But anyhow, I hope you're all fit and well. And uh, I've got to sign off with a few uh, other YouTube's, YouTubers' sayings. Uh, be kind. Uh, it is what it is. And uh, keep your pixels in focus. All right, this is Big Bill Block. You have a nice uh, weekend. I'll catch up with you later on. Bye for now.